Hello everyone. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand an interesting concept which is in pregnant women, whenever the corticosteroid levels were say, taken, they always had a high levels of plasma cortisols. The total plasma cortisol levels were very high, but they are not showing the symptoms of glucocorticoid excess. So what is it happening? Why there is high levels of increased total plasma cortisol? Let's try to understand the reason behind it. In pregnant women, what happens is there is increased amount of estrogen. The estrogen levels are high and this estrogen is a direct stimulation stimulant for cortisol binding globulin, which is also called as CBG, cortisol binding globulin. They are synthesized by the liver and now their quantity will be produced in high levels. So there is an increased cortisol binding globulin. So as and when this cortisol binding globulin is going to increase, what they will do is they will bind more and more cortisol with them. So what will happen is the bound form of cortisol will increase obviously. So the bound form is going to increase but still the free form or the one which is having the action their levels will be normal. They will be decreasing initially because of the levels they are getting bound to the cortisol binding globulin but again the body will make up and their free levels will come to a normal state. Now what happens is here is there is increased level of bound form but the free form is normal. Since this free form is normal, there is not going to be any symptoms of glucocorticoid excess in the pregnant women. The total is increased because only of the increased level of bound form. So there is nothing to worry due to the raised level of cortisol levels in pregnant women. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thank you so much.